Hello, Capricorn. This is your August 2020. So, Capricorn, the first cards that come up for you, they they pretty much all kind of go together. Every single card that I pulled for you kind of all goes together. But what I am going to say for for you guys, um, for Capricorns this month, is it's talking pretty much about in your life right now, Capricorns, you're selling yourself too short. You're selling out, so to speak, or you're acting out of integrity, okay? What it's showing me is that you may be in uh, a job that you hate for some of you. For some of you, you could be living in a very toxic environment or in a, you could be involved in a toxic situation, relationship, partnership. Capricorn, the month of August is, is going to be a lot about decisions that you're going to make for yourself, things that are going to make things better for you or, or better your life or make you happier. You are going to go through some challenges that are going to be tough. You're going to have to make some really good but hard decisions. These decisions will result in your September, so to speak. In other words, you're going to make preparation for September to be much easier on you, for things to come naturally, for happiness to always be around. Um, but you got to go through the work first. You've got to put the work in in order to get there. So if you are living in a toxic environment, you need to figure out what you can do in order to change that. Um, the cards that I saw are pretty much asking you to find the courage to stand up for your um, convictions, so to speak. It's also talking about taking steps. Um towards doing what you love to do. So you've been so focused, Capricorn, on pleasing so many other people in your lifetime that in order to get you a better outcome, in order to get your uh, horoscope, teroscope, psychic, whatever, <clears throat> whatever information it is you're looking for, in order to get a better outcome, in order to have something to look forward to, then we need to start taking some steps here. It feels like selling out being linked to a shadow of aspect of of the um, postponements that you put on in your life. Things that you chose to procrastinate about. So be careful with that. Um, examining your fears as well as your survival, survival power is going to help you uh, to prepare for what's to come. A lot of you definitely take responsibility for a lot of things and for your success as well. But where it comes to or when it comes to relationships, you don't hold a whole lot of responsibility, meaning you allow people <coughs> excuse me, to treat you in the way that they should not, the way they should not. Um, you're going to have to make a choice about whether you're going to use your power or lose your power. You're just you're going to have to explore your talents and your abilities. Um, you're also going to have to have some type of selfishness in order to appreciate yourself, take care of you. Um, you you're all and listen. It, it sounds like a good thing, right? Taking care of somebody else, helping somebody else, fixing things for somebody else. But charity has to start at home first. So in other words, you need to start taking care of you. Before you can go and take care of somebody else. It's time to take a few deep breaths. Okay. Nice and slow. In through your nose and out through your mouth. Take some deep breaths. And then try to focus. Focus on your body. Try to become conscious of where. Where you feel like. Um, where you feel like you're losing your energy. Or where you feel like you're losing your power. Okay. It's really important to. Uh, try to focus on where it is, whether it's in your heart, whether it's in your mind. Figure out where it is and, and ask for strength, okay? <clears throat> One of the cards that came up for you was the Seven of Wands. With the Seven of Wands, Capricorn, this definitely talks about you having to run away from something, avoid something, run in between something, maybe walking on eggshells, it also could be talking about dodging bullets, so to speak. This card itself, it, it, it's kind of pushing me to say to you that 
You know daggers are coming at you. You know somebody's not appreciating you for who you are. You know that somebody keeps taking cheap shots at you. You're spending most of the time running away from things that are hurting you, upsetting you, throwing you off balance, creating destruction, making you even self-sabotage in a certain way. Oh. <clears throat> but with this... You know, you shouldn't have to live like this in your own home. You shouldn't have to be afraid. You shouldn't have to be scared that, uh, you know, something's not going to happen right. Or you're worrying a lot. Your anxiety's up. Um, you're stressing over a lot of different things. You, you definitely shouldn't have to live like this. There is a opportunity here for you to change this pattern, okay? Your next card that comes up is the Eight of Swords, and that's explaining you feeling trapped in a situation, feeling like you can't get out of something, feeling like you've been in this relationship for so long that why give up now? It's easier to just stay here than it is to start over and start a new one. And that's pretty much what you're saying to me. When I, when I hear this, oops, it's, it's, it's talking about you feeling like you're, you're, you got yourself in your own prison. That's what I'm going to say. You have put yourself in your own prison. Why did I say you did it? Even though the person you're around is toxic and not honest and um, has betrayed you and manipulated you and is pretty much a narcissist. But in fact, you've allowed this to happen. You have to take your responsibility too. Yes, I feel terrible for you. Yes, I want better for you. But this isn't about me. This is about you needing to be accountable, needing to take responsibility. Like I said, you take responsibility where work is concerned. You take it where paying your bills are concerned. But you're not taking it where love is concerned. You need to put your boundaries up. You need to make your point clear. And you need to either lock the door, don't answer the phone, or whatever you need to do in order to get your sanity back. You have struggled and struggled enough. Enough. All right. So the next card that comes up. Now, don't get, don't get worried. Now, this reading does get better. Don't get worried. But we have the Nine of Wands. And again, the Nine of Wands is now you finally going from feeling trapped to finally standing up for yourself. Now you're going to fight off whoever this is. Now you're going to realize, you know what? You're right. I shouldn't have put up with this for this long. I shouldn't have waited for them to make these changes that they haven't never made. They keep talking and saying they're going to do all these things, but there's no actions. Exactly. So now, now you're standing up. Now you had just gotten up from the ground and now you're standing up saying, you know what? I'm not going to take this. I'm not going to put up with it. This is not uh, the way things are going to be. Things are going to be different here. This is going to be a different situation, a different time period. This is also going to be something where I figure out uh, a solution to my problems. I figure out that I am worth a lot more than this situation uh, could hold me down. Things are going to get much better. Um, I'm tired of what you say. I'm tired of the way you treat me. <clears throat> this is you. You're going to express yourself in so many ways to this person. You're going to be so proud of yourself because you know that this is not the way that it should be. You know that. Your um, last card that comes up is going to talk about the Three of Cups. And the Three of Cups is where your benefits start coming in because you stood up for yourself, because you're finally saying no more, I'm done, because you're saying I don't want to live in a toxic environment for the rest of my life. I don't want this to be how it goes. Then this is here. Here you go. Here you go. So you're going to have friends around, support around, encouragement around. You're going to have something to celebrate very soon. For some of you, it's going to be a brand new beginning with a brand new person because you finally decided, you know what? I've invested enough time in this situation. I'm done with it. I'm so ready to move forward. I'm so ready to find my happiness. I'm so ready to just start enjoying and living my life, not having to defend myself every moment of the day. So this is where things start to make sense to you. This is where things start to come into play. This is where when you couldn't see the universe helping you or trying to push you into a decision to, to make a better choice, this is where... It comes out from behind. This is where the universe says, here I am. 
And karma steps up and says, here I am. And I'm ready to do my job. And then you're ready to then, you know what? Polish your shoes, wash off your hands, and move forward. So for this month, yes, maybe the first two weeks here, you're going to struggle a little bit. Even going into the beginning of the third week. But by then, that's when you're going to just, you're just going to get it. It's going to be like something clicked on. It's going to be like, you know what? Oh my gosh. It's, it's finally making sense. So if I was to turn out my light and then all of a sudden you get that thought, there it is. That fast, it's going to come to you. That fast, you're going to want to do something better. That fast, as soon as you begin to start being a little bit selfish, taking care of you, because that's what you should do. You must take care of you first before you can try to take care of any single person else, anybody else, your children, your mother, your father, anybody. You must take care of you first or you won't be well enough or strong enough to take care of anybody else. That's what this is about. So as soon as you begin to do that, you're going to see so many changes. You're not going to believe, you're going to feel like you hit the lottery. Every single thing in your life and every aspect is going to start to fall into place. You no longer are going to be down or Debbie Downer. You're never going to be chatty Kathy. You're not going to be telling everybody your business. You're just going to focus on you. You're going to stay in your lane. You're going to avoid people, places, and things of people that were toxic to you. Even some friends that you have that weren't very supportive or encouraging. Friends who allowed you to keep staying on this path and didn't even try to say, you know what, you deserve better. When you have friends like that who don't even care about you, and they're so worried about pumping themselves up or making themselves look better. You don't really need them friends. They're not really friends. They're associates. And associates need to get the step. They come and they go. They come and they go. A good friend will be there through it all. Through when you're really happy. Through when you're really sad. All right? So with that being said, I'm telling you. I'm telling you. August can be a fantastic month. You have a what, two weeks more to go to get through some toughness, to make some really good decisions? And as soon as you do, by the third week of this month, you're going to be able to go into September. Man, look out. Like a firecracker. Like a firecracker.